Hello, my name is Tobin miller Shear. I'm the Director of Undergraduate Studies for the History Department at the University of Montana. And today I have the privilege of interviewing Natalie Mon Monjo, who is the 2020 Outstanding History Student Award winner from the Mortarboard Society at the University of Montana. Congratulations, Natalie, for that award. Thank you so much, I'm really honored. Well, we're so delighted to have you in the department. And now I get the chance to ask you some questions about your experience while you were working with us in history. And my first question is, what are some of the most important things you learned while doing your degree in history at the University of Montana? Absolutely, definitely learned a lot as you're supposed to when you're in college. <laughs> um, from a specifically like history standpoint, I'd probably say the biggest thing I learned is just constantly questioning why things happened, not just studying what happened um, and really trying to figure out the story and by studying why get a deeper understanding of people and how the world works and just the constant chaos of it all mm -hmm. just the greatest story of humanity is history um, overall i think i have fantastic professors through the department who constantly encouraged me to be passionate about history about everything and do that through their own passion for the stories they're telling and the subjects they're teaching and just constantly inspiring me to be passionate and enthusiastic as well. Well, that was obvious, that obviously came through in the award that we gave you as well. So here's my next question. What is one of the best memories from your time in our program? Yeah, um, one of the coolest things I did early on that really helped me end up committing to history as a major was I got the opportunity to work with Dr. Rachel Gross when she was a fellowship professor at the DHC on the exhibit of outdoor gear that she did at um, the Fort Missoula Museum. And it was really, really cool to get to work firsthand on an exhibit from the beginning stages of what are what is this even gonna look like through oral history interviews with members of the community, through actually collecting artifacts and putting them all together and got to do some really cool things. Got to go up to the Flathead Bio Station, Flathead Lake Bio Station for a weekend to actually archive and like collect and organize all the stuff we have so we'd have the space to do that and then put the exhibit together. I traveled to Helena with her as well as the other students to present on the project there as well. And um, very definitely like one of the biggest things I did as well as just really at the time when I started that project was not a history major, but by the time that project finished, I was a history major, so. Excellent. Yeah, it was yeah. super fun. Those kind of hands-on public-facing history projects can be incredibly exciting, and she was a particularly good instructor to help bring that about. Absolutely. So let's imagine this. A student comes up to you who's thinking about joining the history department at UM. What would you tell them about reasons to take this up as their major? I honestly say probably has from my experience some of the best professors on campus come from the history department um, they're so attentive and so easy to talk to and so passionate i uh, remember going in and talking to different professors when i was trying to figure out what direction i even wanted to go to whether i was doing education or history or environmental i came in undeclared and they were just always so willing to help whether or not i was in the history department yet and then that continued and always made such personal connections as well as I just love history. I think it's like the greatest story ever. And I love stories and I love studying people. And it just was a really good way for me to study something that I actually really wanted to learn more about with people who genuinely cared. Excellent. So where does that love of narrative take you? What are your next steps, even as we're in the midst of this COVID-19 pandemic? Yeah, that's an excellent question that I don't entirely have the answer to right now. Sure. Um, currently, I'll be moving after the semester ends, we'll be going back to Colorado with my family for a little bit. Um, hopefully, if depending on where the pandemic goes, I'll be working a summer job in Yellowstone just to adventure outdoors a little bit. Um, after that, I would love to continue to find a way to combine that love of history, love of stories, and maybe travel a bit, explore outdoors, something that Montana and the University of Missoula offers as well as that outdoor aspect that's constantly trying to tie together my love for the outdoors with my love for history, which is an interesting niche, but um, have friends who all over the country who are like, you would be really good at this job, you should apply for it. So I'm gonna keep Great. applying and hopefully get something cool. 
Well, all signs indicate you're going to have a successful path ahead of you. <laughs> so is there anything else you'd like to say about your experience in history at the University of Montana? Uh, just that it was, I'm very, very glad I did it. I don't think, I think people in my life when I was a kid probably could have predicted I was going to end up studying history in college. I don't think I would have. Um, definitely was an interesting path to get me here, but also it's just super fun to get to study every day something I'm actually interested in and then go and text all my friends and talk with my friends, oh, guess what cool history fact I learned today and force them to listen to me tell <laughs> the stories to them as well. I love it. That's great. Well, we couldn't be more proud of you and best to you in all the uh, uncertainty ahead of you and what I hope will be a successful career. We greatly appreciate having you in the department and are delighted that you indeed are our award winner this year. Thanks so Thank much. Thank you so much. <laughs>